Welcome to Movie Zoo, basic training video number four. This one's called Direction and we're going to cover all types of direction from characters to cameras. Uh, as I say, number four in the basic training one, let's jump in and see what we can do. Here we are, we've got the character that we created in one of the previous tutorials and he is standing within the set that we created in one of the previous tutorials and what we're going to do is we're going to have this little guy John walking across the road uh, and he'll be saying something and we'll animate the whole thing by directing uh, that's the way that animation works within movie zoo uh, you prepare things and then you direct so let's have a look at character movement for instance here's a timeline everything that's recorded appears on the timeline in blocks now these blocks can be moved up and down in the timeline to suit where you want the events to happen. So for instance when he walks across a block will appear here. If I wanted him to walk at the beginning 10 seconds the block will start here. If I wanted it earlier on I would just slide it back down the timeline. So that's the way it works. Down here you've got the record button that kicks off the direction and you've got play and other kind of typical navigation controls. So let's start off with walking John across the road. Okay, I'll just get into a better position so I can see what I'm doing with them. And I'll get that out of the way just now. And we'll click record. You get a countdown. You get that from all direction near enough. And I'll just drag him across to the pavement. And stop it there. That's the start point and that's the end point of the video. I can make it longer, make it shorter. All events between these points will be shown in your final video. Right. Oh, up here, uh, the movement. I dragged him across here. If I dragged him fast, he would have started running. If I slowed down, he would have moved back to a walking pace. I could have selected only walk or only run, and he'd have done both those things from that point to that point. Right. So that's him. He's walked across the road. Well done, John. Next thing to do is animate his actions and things, but we better get some audio for him to be animated too. So the next thing is to select the audio track. We'll go to edit. We'll go to, we won't choose one. We won't import one because I don't have one previously prepared. So I'll record directly into MovieZoo by clicking the record button. And then I can just start speaking once I record by pressing this button here. So I'll just say, Where did I leave my car? I knew I left around here somewhere. Now, wh what did I do with that thing? Oh, I remember now. I walked to work. Okay, so there we go. That's me got my uh, audio for that. Uh, I'll just click OK. I'll put the volume up. I can preview it by pressing play. I'll just go OK just now. The next thing we want to do is we want to prepare the dialogue. So we want to, there's John selected and uh, we will lip sync John to audio track one, the one that we just recorded. And the initial talking for John is talk. I could have initial shush, which would mean that he wouldn't lip sync to the audio track. I can direct this um, over time. So I could, as the timeline's running, once I've directed the dialogue, I can click on shush and he'll stop talking, click on talk and he'll talk. But for the moment, I'm quite happy with John saying everything in the audio track. So I'll leave the initial talking as talk and I'll just, that's all I need to do. He will automatically say everything that was spoken in the recording. So let's have a look at the timeline again. Okay, here's the audio track that I've just recorded. I can move that down a bit. I can bring him back in time to before he started walking. Okay, so I'll actually I'll put the audio track just near enough to there. So I want to actually animate him looking around a bit, I think, doing a bit of head and eye direction. So we'll go for that next. We'll go to direct character head and eyes. Okay, and I'll just go for the head at the moment. And uh, he's back at the start. We'll click, we'll get three, two, one, record. And I'm looking around, as you can see, it's 
looking for his car. Where did I leave my car? I knew I left around here somewhere. Now, wh what did I do with that thing? Oh, I remember now. I walked to work. And stop. And that's all my head direction there. And I can rewind them all the way back. And I can move on to eye direction. And this will animate the pupils of his eyes. Okay, so let's do that. Record, 3, 2, 1. Sometimes better doing this when your uh, character is static and then doing your character motion afterwards. Right, so that's uh, the eye direction done for the pupils. I can also direct the eye size, so we'll do that also. That's just his eyes closing and opening. As you can see. Right, so we'll direct that. Where did I leave my car? I knew I left around here somewhere. Now, wh what did I do with that thing? Oh, I remember now. I walked to work. Right, there we go. So that's the head and eyes directed. The next thing to look at is the character actions. Prepare character actions. And this brings up a palette of possible actions that we can use. Now these are all random ones from within MovieZoo, but we can change these to specific ones that we want by going to prepare character actions as we've done, selecting whichever one we want, and to change, and it brings up all the selections that are within MovieZoo and all the different headings. Now, before we do that, let me explain that a character starts off in a, with an initial mood. At the moment, his initial mood is happy, but we could start off with him sad or uh, evil or, you know, the choices are all there. Uh, but at the moment, I think he's quite happy, even though he's still looking for his car. And I want him standing, I don't want him sitting. So he's starting off in this standing position. Right, and as I say, let's change a couple of the actions. So, I think I would like him to have a conversation with himself. That one, or that one. Uh, yeah, that one will do. And then I think I want him to maybe think harder about it and maybe scratch his head. There you go, scratch his head. I'm using the search panel there for finding these things. So that one's in there now. And then I think I want them to realise. Realise. Oh, realisation. There we go. That's a, so you can see there's a lot of uh, different things that the animators of uh, MovieZoo have thought to put in for us to create cartoons. Uh, pretty much all uh, human movements are there. So there's a vast selection for you to pick from. So I've got mine just now. So let's go back to the timeline, rewind to the start, and, and we'll go to direct character actions. We'll click on that, and as the time goes, we'll click on these three different actions. All right, so off we go. Where did I leave my car? I knew I left around here somewhere. Now, wh what did I do with that thing? Oh, I remember now. I walked to work. So, there we go. We've got a little character and we've animated his head and his eyes. Uh, we've got him walking across the road. That was a character movement. Um, we've got um, performing some character actions. The next thing we want to do is do some camera cuts uh, 
of the action. So what we'll do is we'll go to look at our cameras. Right, so I've got a camera here and I've got another camera or have I got another camera? Let me have a look. Here. Here it is. Right. So there's my two cameras. These are my camera views. Much like uh, other windows in MovieZoo, these can be expanded, which is very handy uh, with cameras. And just moved into position. So this is camera one over here. And this is the view that camera one can see. And camera two is back here. And that's the view that camera two can see. Right, so over time, what we want to do is switch between these two cameras to give a kind of edit to the movie. Um, I think we could do with another camera. So let's create another camera. That's camera three. Right, I'll just change a couple of things to do with camera three. We'll go into cameras in greater detail later on. I'll bring the zoom in. That's what I want. Now I want to see a kind of close-up of him. Uh, so I'll go to the timeline and I'll move him over here. That's his final point there. So what I want to see is him in the frame. So there we go. That's him in the frame in camera 3. Okay, there's camera 2 there. Camera 1, where he began. As you can see, so over time he starts walking. Does all his stuff. Right, so let's do direct camera cuts. Now, this time we'll press record and over time we will click between the cameras and that will create the camera cuts. And again, it will all be recorded on the timeline. So off we go. Three, two, one. And he's looking around, he's looking around. There's a long shot. And back to this one. And we'll just leave that one there. Okay. So, there we go, we've animated the character across the road, we've animated his head and eyes, his character actions, we've animated camera cuts, uh, we could have uh, animated the car here, moving down the road, uh, we could have made it rain and stop raining, animated that over time. There's so many different things you can do with movies, the limit is only on your imagination. So, um, that's it. So, once you've done that you can make your video and output it in various formats, upload it to YouTube and uh, hopefully you will and we'll see your uh, fantastic cartoons on the MovieZoo forum. See you later. Bye bye.